this week on Rocks in a Hard Place. Literally a weight off your shoulder. The bags are packed, the kits handed in, and two squadron are on their way home. Been a long one, hot one. Just uh, looking forward to getting on that plane and getting back to the UK now. After six and a half months, it's the final day in Basra for the men of two squadron. At midday, the RAF regiment's 51 squadron will formally assume duties at the Cobb. However, before the final packing can begin, every flight must hand over their vehicles to the new squadron and every piece of personal kit must be handed in. Well, what we're doing now is a uh, 51A flight just turned up, so we're going to do is simply hand over, to hand over, take over of these wagons. They go through uh, all the serial numbers of the weapons, they check all the ammo, make sure that's there, and uh, once they're happy, that will be their handover of Test South. Uh, once that, we've uh, just handed in all our weapons, off spray, uh, all the stuff we signed out at the beginning of the tour, and then that is us done. No more ops for us, uh, and we'll just be hanging around till we go on the flight at midnight tonight. Hurrah. It was a big team effort, to be honest. You got your flights on CSS, your comms ops lads, uh, all the equipment, the serial numbers, all the nitty gritty detail has to be uh, gone through and handed over correctly, and that's what takes the time. CSS is uh, combat service support. It's uh, basically it's bullets and water. Uh, make sure the lads uh, have got enough uh, supplies, uh, etc., to uh, survive in the field. So I'm trying to mediate between everyone at the moment. Make sure all the infantry, everything they've got registered to them. They've actually accounted for every bit of um, uh, equipment uh, and then shown it to our next squadron. So they're happy to take it over and they know exactly where it is. Just uh, got rid of my Osprey, got rid of my weapon, ammunition. We almost want to get rid of the kit first and uh, hopefully no delay tonight and we'll be back in, uh, back in the UK tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. I want to get off the plane and yeah. now. Just get off the plane and. Oh. It's class. Sit out in the f***ing beer garden with a pint while it's f***ing Unreal. Literally a weight off your shoulder. Handing in off spray was brilliant. Yeah, that smelled too good after six months. Looking forward to getting back, to be honest with you. Been a long one, hot one. Just uh, looking forward to getting on that plane and getting back to the UK now. Good first though. Yeah, learnt a lot from the lads. Just get to know the lads on the flight a lot more. Like you feel a lot more comfortable having worked with the lads um, in theatre. You do learn a lot, without even realising that you learn a lot. But generally, yeah, not too bad. For the first time, it's been not too bad at all. With the handover complete and the bags packed for the final time, it's now just a waiting game until the flight home. That is, if B-Flight can get their luggage on the truck in time. I'm not late. I'm saying that B-Flight I have a reputation. Unfortunately, it's tarnished the whole B flight, which is unfair because they're actually very good lads. Hopefully, I'll take my reputation and uh, curse with me away from the squadron and let them have a bit of a break for the next OCB. <laughs> I think it's been a very good tour for the squadron. Um, very different from the Afghan tour that they only finished 10 months before coming here. And I think uh, the difference in itself is a challenge. Uh, we've got a lot of manpower that this is their first operational tour. And some of the jobs that we've done here and the way we've gone about our business here uh, has been very good and it's a good grounding tour for a lot of the younger guys. And obviously guys move onwards and upwards through the rank levels so there's always a new challenge there for them. It's different. It's, it's been a different tour. This is my fourth tour year for myself and it's uh, totally different. Uh, time's up for some of the lads on the squadron. Uh, so some of the lads will be posting. I've got a good mate of mine going to GDT, which is ground defence training, teaching the rest of the RAF how to fire their weapons. I've got, also got some mates that are going down to SFSG, um, and also uh, RTS, which is a big one, uh, where they train all the recruits. It's all just uh, something different that they want to try as they've experienced the field squadron. It's been a good tour. The ethos of the squadron has never changed. The blokes are massively motivated. Uh, as, you, as I'm sure you've seen, there's been so many changes. We've changed from being Mastiff, which are the kind of a, a wheeled vehicle, moved from that to Bulldogs, and the men have just proved that again and again that they're capable of, of absorbing these changes. You know, two squad and me and two squad, they've, they've done the job. They've done it very well. 
Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm proud to be a part of the squadron. I'm proud that I am the, the ops officer for the squadron. Thankfully, that, that it's, everything seems to have gone to plan. Commanding a squadron, and particularly commanding two squadron, is um, a privilege that uh, only the smallest minority of our RAF regiment officers will ever get. And particularly commanding two squadron, you know, the thoroughbred in the stable, you know, is a unique privilege. Next time on the final Rocks and the Hard Place. General consensus is it's been a bloody hard tour, to be fair. It's medals and barbecues as two squadrons celebrate with their families. They've got this £30 pound pie cry called David. He's mine, I'm having it.